Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about a really cool animal that lives in the ocean. This is an octopus. Everybody say octopus. I'm sure you've heard of an octopus, but we're going to learn lots of really cool things about this important animal. As we learn, the octopus is a very fascinating creature. Octopuses are found worldwide in the shallow waters of tropical, subtropical, and temperate areas. So basically everywhere except the coldest regions of the ocean, like the Arctic Ocean and the cold waters near Antarctica. As we did with the krill drawn label, we're now going to discuss the external features, the diet, survival, and protection techniques, and the predators of the octopus. So I have my little friend here to help me talk and to talk to. Do you have your friend ready? It could be a little action figure, a doll, or a stuffed animal, a pet, or even an adult or a sibling. All right, here we go. So, an octopus, the classification name of an octopus is Cephalo. Pod. Everybody say that. Cephalopod. Cephalopod. This is my little friend who's going to say it too. Cephalopod. Can you have your little friend say cephalopod? There are over 300 species of octopus. That means there are over 300 different kinds of octopuses. They are, some of them are really small, like only a couple of centimeters long, and some of them are really huge, up to 18, or excuse me, 16 feet long. So the small are about 2.5 centimeters, and the large ones are up to 16 feet tall. And we'll talk a little, or long, I should say. Now, the external features, external features of an octopus are very different from most other animals. First, like most people recognize, they have eight legs. So here's one leg, here's another leg, that's two, three, four, and we have five. Here's the fifth leg, and six, seven, I hope you're counting with me, or your little friend is counting with me, and eight. So they have eight legs, and these legs are very strong very strong. They help them to swim. They help them escape from things. And they can also regenerate. Ooh, that's a big word. Let's say that one. Regenerate. Everybody say regenerate. Can you say regenerate? Regenerate. But what does that mean? Regenerate. Regenerate, regenerate, regenerate means to grow again. So if one of these legs gets stuck in a rock, what can happen is the leg, the octopus can pull away and this leg would break off, but soon the leg would be rebuilt again. Okay, so another really cool feature 
of the octopus is that on its legs, they have all these suction cups. And these suction cups serve multiple purposes, but basically they're there to help the octopus cling to rocks or cling to um, its prey. But more interestingly, these suction cups help them smell and taste. Very cool. So these are the suction cups. All right. Another external feature is this thing called the mantle. And basically it's its head, but the mantle kind of holds everything in place for the octopus. The mantle is kind of like its head, but it also has all of its organs. It's got its brain in there. It has um, other, its heart, everything that helps it stay alive is all inside of this mantle. And then this is part of that octopus's other leg. So that's the mantle, very important, like the head, okay? And on the mantle, right underneath the mantle, is this thing called a siphon, a siphon. And the octopus uses this siphon to breathe in or suck in the water and push it out. It also has these upper gills that help filter out the water. Okay. Um, they have this other external feature, which is really interesting. And it's called a beak. And it kind of sticks out. It can open and um, open and close. And they use this beak. I'm going to write the word down here. They use this beak to crunch up their prey and bring it into their mouths. So they crunch up a prey that's there and it goes up into their mouth and it feeds them. Okay. And they have the gills, we talked about that. And of course they have two eyes. two eyes. All right, we're going to do a little turn and talk here, but before we do, I want to show you a picture of the octopus. I'm hoping that it comes into focus. There's a picture of an octopus. I'm going to put that right over there. And here is a picture of the octopus's suction cups. Look at this. Isn't that cool? And we'll put that over here where we can see that. And here, this is kind of hard to tell, but that is an octopus's eye. So we'll put that over here. We have two eyes. I think I'll put the eyes here. I'll point it down there. Okay, two eyes. Then this is a picture of its beak. You can see it's kind of right underneath. It's like in the middle of all of its legs. And when its legs pull, they pull the food right into this beak that opens up and pulls the food in. So there is the beak. And I forgot to write the word siphon. So here we go. Siphon. Siphon. Great. So those are the really cool external features of the octopus. And we're going to learn a little bit more about its diet and survival techniques and predators in a moment. But before we do, I want us to stop and turn and talk. And we're going to talk about this sentence here. I want you to think about how the external features of the octopus help them survive in the ocean. So I want you to whisper to your friend 
using this sentence frame, I want you to say to your friend, and I'll say it to my friend, I think the blank external features of the octopus helps it survive by blank. So I'm going to say, I think the mantle external feature of the octopus helps it survive by protecting its brain. You try.